What's up, fellow gamers? Kevin J2010 here, welcoming you back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we made our way here to. Well, whoa, what am I talking about? We finished the Rocket Hideout and when we went up north to Lake of Rage. It was in the souvenir shop, nothing suspicious about it. I wonder if I come back in here. No, at some point, this place turns to a Pokemon or something. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't remember. Dude, this place doesn't have a Pokemon, if you couldn't tell. But what we are going to do, we are going to head into here. Into the Mahogany Sea Gym. It's very icy. What do you have to say? Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I, I mean, keep up a hot fighting spirit against ice. Well, hot fighting spirit, we do not have anything that beats fighting at all. And by... I can't think right now. Forgot to heal, too. Luckily for us, though, we should be okay in this gym. Although Ice only has a few weaknesses, Ice being weak to um, fighting and steel and fire. Those are those are its only weaknesses, and frankly, being that those are its only weakness, and we don't actually have any of those types, other than technically Magnemite being a steel type, um, you, you may think we'd have a hard time, but it wasn't until, I believe, Gen 3 that they introduced pure Ice types. Um, even up into Gen 2, there was no pure ice type, but then they realized ice wasn't that strong. So it didn't really matter. Anyway. Anyway, as you can see. As you can see, this gym is all based on, um, ice. All about finding your way into the right holes and stuff. I don't know why. Anyway. So that's the first room done. It's a bunch of... What do you know? A room based on ice, and it's about sliding things. It's Nintendo in a nutshell, let me tell you. Anyway, by the looks of it, you have to fight one of these trainers. There's no other way to do it. And if, if you have to choose one of them, you want to fight this one. You want to fight this one. As you see, this guy standing on a snowboard. This gym has a slippery four. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Y yes, we are. It's, I'm playing a Pokemon. It's called a Let's Play. Yeah, let's play games. Anyway, you got Border Patton flying through the air as he throws out. He's so enough! That's so cute! Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! Oh, it's like a snow pig! As you notice, our ice move, our grass move was super effective. Wow, I one-shot it. Because Swinub is part ground. So luckily, having both a water type and a grass type is decent because ice does not resist grass even though ice beats grass, which is a little weird. Oh, Swinub is so cute! Oh, I love Swinub, he's so cute! Oh! I love Swinub. Swinub's one of the cutest Pokemon in the game. By far. Look at him, he's like, his eyes are closed, he's all like, Oh, it's so cold! It's so cold in here! And he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's... Squ squinching? No, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? When you're like, you're squinting. I guess you'd be squinting, but that's not the word I'm looking for. I did this wrong. Yeah, I did. What? How was I supposed to do this? How's... Excuse me, miss? How was I supposed to do this gym? And she's a skier, Diana. Not the League of Legends champion. She's a... Now this one we might have a little bit of trouble with. Because she is one not using an ice type move, but she's only she's part psychic, and we don't have any. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to beat psychic. You need a dark type move or a um, bug type move. Neither of which we have. Well, we have U-turn. If you want to count that. As you can see, we're finally getting uh, people who are or Pokemon that are actually on level with us. Finally, took us long enough, you know. Trying to beat this jinx! Trying to beat this jinx! And it's gonna take. Stupid jinx, one of the dumbest Pokemon in the game. I was playing uh, the Pokemon card game with someone the other day, or maybe not the Pokemon card game. We were playing. We were playing Monopoly, but we had uh, we were using Pokemon no Monopoly pieces, just because we wanted to use the electronic Monopoly, but we didn't want to, but we didn't want to waste. Uh, but, but uh, 
how, was that, how do I explain it? We wanted to play with Electric Monopoly, but we couldn't find the deeds or the pieces. So we just used some of the Pokemon stuff, because the, the ratios are all the same. Anyway, and since the ratios were all the same, it worked. Um, but basically, what I'm trying to say happened was we, um... I like, I, I got Mr. Mime, and I was like, hey, I want Mr. Mime. And they're like, why'd you want Mr. Mime? Married to Jinx. And I was like, well, I don't, I don't get it. What's the problem? So anyway, as you can see, this place is kind of designed that you have to fight some people. It's weird, I'm gonna turn off my running so I don't accidentally perturb somebody. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? I have to like, look at this for a second. Well, I can't go that way. So you can avoid this guy. Well, apparently you can't when you're walking to him, when you're walking to him, when you're walking to him, when you walk in, walk into him. I don't know. I can see that that would actually set me up perfectly if I did it right. Oh, what? Why? That was the easiest thing in the world! Why did I not? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, hold on one second. I'm just gonna heal. I'm gonna redo that all for you. Oh, hi, Kevin J. This is Warden Bauba. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I finally come up with the next test. I'll give you more details of the Safari Zone. See you later. So, apparently, once you defeat, uh, once you enter the Mahogany Gym and leave, you. It counts as you beating it and progresses uh, the Bauba and the Safari Zone sort of side quest. If you want to do that, we'll definitely take care of that in the near future. But uh, right now, we are going to finish off Price. And we're going to do things. We're going to do things. Don't you worry. We are going to do a lot of things. Anyway, so as I was saying... So, that puzzle that I got stuck on was not hard in the slightest. I'm just a colossal idiot. So as you can see here... This one was... I just screwed it up again. Don't know why the doors in this place look different. Anyway, as I was saying, it's really easy. You just have to knock it over and head up again. That wasn't hard at all. And then you get to this room. And I was all like, Herp derp, how do I do this? Well, all you have to do is this. Then head down and around. And then use use the human himself to block you. And then you get right up to him. And then you talk. Folk would have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. I can't do an old man voice. But we're taking on a really cool gym leader. Look at him. He's so cool. Get it? He's cool. I'm saying, what's cooler than being cool? Ah, it's cool. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. He starts out with a water type, so Simon. I'm pretty sure Seal was not an ice type. Just a pure water type. I know we're starting out with the Pokemon that's most likely to die to them, but I don't care because he uses Hail. Hail um, is the weather effect that is kind of like... Because we've seen Rain Dance, but we haven't seen Rain Dance really. I haven't even explained any of the weather. And we faced uh, freaking Steelix, who had Sandstorm. Sandstorm and Hail are what are known as weather effects. They affect the battlefield completely on their own. And will hurt any Pokemon that's... I did explain Sandstorm, yes. But Hail will do the same thing, but everything that isn't an Ice-type. So that's that. And then Sunny Day and Rain Dance just do other effects. Um, Sunny Day increases the power of all, of all Fire-type moves. And Rain Dance increases the power of all Water-type moves. And conversely, they also weaken the opposite. So... Anyway, then he comes out with a dugong. A dugong! And we're gonna throw out our Waddle-Doo for this one. Ah, man. I can't believe I got stuck on that stupid... That stupid thing. I'm saying, what's cooler than being cool? Being thunder-sparked! Now, luckily for us, having a Magnemite on our team, Waddle-Doo, is actually very useful. Because the electricity helps us beat the water subtype. And being steel helps us resist... Wow, I was expecting that to do a lot more. But being steel also helps us resist, uh... Also helps us resist ice, which is really nice. Ha! Uh, it's ice and it's really nice. Ah, I'm so funny! Gonna use Thundershock, gonna use Thundershock, gonna use Thundershock. Not, uh, I'm gonna guess that Thundershock was stronger. 
I don't know. We get buffeted by hail. We get buffeted by. But my friend would. Say, I wonder if he would say that. So I have a friend who says like. I wonder because I. Ooh, one health. My friend was like, he doesn't say facade. He says facade. I'm not sure if he's kidding or not. Oh jeez, thunder stops. I knew you were gonna use that hyper potion. I knew you were gonna use that hyper potion. So you wanna know what I proposed? I proposed a thunder wave on your butt. Thunder wave tax. Anyway, I was really expecting Wildo to have done a lot better in this gym, but I guess if you had leveled him up a little bit more and got him to evolve, yes, he's not too far away from evolving. Uh, it would definitely help a lot. And anyway, he used Ice Shard, which, as I said, always goes first. It's kind of like Quick Attack. So it let him go first, even though he was paralyzed. But because of that, we can now throw up Maple again and get some Magical Leaves off. Dugong's a bit of a wall, from what I remember. Maybe a special wall. Maybe that explains why he's not taking too much damage. But we'll see how much this does. Hmm. <laughs> I was like, huh, I was expecting that to do, like, nothing, and it was a critical hit. It still did more than Waddle do, too. He's holding... Is uh, Maple holding a Miracle Seed? That might be why. I don't remember. And he goes for the Ice Shard. So this is going downhill really quickly. Because that Ice Shard is going to destroy us, as you can see, as it is currently in the process of destroying us. We should still be okay, though, because I'm going to throw a Rock Man. He's really fast. And I'm just going to use U-Turn so he can get some experience. Whip, boink. Now it's going to take him out, and then I get the... Well, I got... What's with me and getting all these critical hits all of a sudden? Jesus, you didn't see it, but off screen when I was trying to figure out that puzzle? Oh, man, when I was trying to figure out that puzzle, I got, like, all these critical hits on all the trainers, and I don't know why. Anyway, Rockman gets a lot of experience. Final Pokemon is a pile of swine. This is the evolved form of swine up, and look how... It's so... It's so... Oh, jeez, what is that? A few are quite the trainer. I can't do an old man voice. I still can't do it. Now I'm going to yawn at it. Quick Claw! We got the Quick Claw to activate. And that's going to be really good when it activates on him. Oh, he's going to reactivate Hail. I'm okay with that. So the reason why I threw out Slowpoke to take on uh, Pyloswine is because Pyloswine uh, is part ground. So our Surf will do... Quick Claw! Again! Why did I Why did I do to get it twice? What did... Why are the Polka Gods looking down upon me? And the weird thing is about this game is the game actually gets easier the farther you get into it because, as you can see, um, these Pokemon are nowhere near as strong as um, Jasmine's Pokemon. Because Steelix was level 35, and the two Magnemites were level 30. The only differences with here is that one of the one of his middle Pokemon, his Dugong, was level 32, as opposed to 30, like her second Magnemite. And they lowered her Pyloswine's level, like his best Pokemon. But you would think... What do you do? What do you, oh, he has a Citrus Berry. I was going to say, I'm like, how does he... How did, if he healed out of that sleep, I would have been really mad. Anyway, I'm going to just keep using Surf. Using Surf. Anyway, we should be okay. Even if Slowpoke gets defeated, we are faster than him. And maybe one more Surf will do it. If one Surf doesn't do it, then we're going to be in trouble. But uh, we'll have to see. We're both really slow. Pilot Swan is not known for speed. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. I guess he likes trees or something. I don't know. Willow trees? The Weeping Willow? Does anyone else think that the Pokemon Weeping Bell sounds like Harry Potter and the Weeping Bell? If you, if you see. Artist work. If anyone would like to do this, I would love you. Harry Potter and the Weeping Bell. I would love you. Hmm, seems my luck has run out. We got 4,080 4, Pokedollars for winning. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Kevin J. Receive the Glacier Badge from Price! Anyway. Yeah, we did it. That badge will raise the special defense of your Pokemon. Also, let your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me, TM07. It's Powder Snow, I believe. That team, oh, it contains hail, so it's useless. It summons a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all target ex all targets except ice types. So we are now done. Finally, we are now done this gym. Let's get the crap out of here. I've had it with this. I want to get out of this gym. All the stupid, stupid, stupid getting out of here. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, 
Oh no, now it's Elm calling. Kevin J, how are things doing? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Kevin J, oh wait, his voice was like, Kevin J, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you, take care. Well, something seems to be happening with the radio station, and we know where our radio tower is, right? Well, that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we're going to be heading to Goldenrod, because it seems like the Rockets might be up to something at the radio tower. So I'll see you guys all next time.